Why, it is the mighty savior of cats. Good day to you. Indeed, my... Your reputation precedes you, heroine. I have not seen Kraga for some time. Do you have a meal for me? I do not have time to prepare a meal for you now. What is the eye of the We shall not speak of this. I wish you good health. Travel safely, heroin. Reputation proceed. I have not seen Kraga. Do you have a meal for? I do, as we agreed. I wish you good travel safely, heroin.
хартла. Thank you for returning. Are you the guildmaster? No, merely the caretaker. Is there something you need of the guild? Who put all these heads on the wall? Adventurers like yourself, no doubt. I would like to buy... The winter keeps us short. I could sell you a healing draught. Take the potion. I don't want your money. Can you train me? We shall see. Draw your weapon. to strike. You have three attack maneuvers. Some work better against certain enemies. Move diagonally away to dodge. Learn when to dodge left and when right. Move down to duck. This is safe but tiring for you. Move right to parry with your weapon. This is fast but not everything can be parried. Move left to block attacks with your shield. You may learn special maneuvers later. Do not forget that you can run away from most enemies. That is enough training for now. As you wish. Thank you again for rest. Let us. You are always welcome.
have little time to talk now. How may I be of... I wish you good health. Fare thee well. I do hope you will not try and eat this raw. Thank you again for rest. I would like to. I crap. Let us. You are open.
So it appears that I have underestimated you. Let us... If you wish to hear about Yarnvidia, you've come to the right person. Tell me of the raiders. There are always some vagabonds in Yarnvidia that think they do not need a city or the Jarl's protection to survive. They are just finding out that the Fimble Winter is a really bad time for that attitude. You can expect them to fight dirty using roguish tricks like the old sand toss. How does one fight the undead? The Drog feel no pain, so it is best to use a blunt weapon like a hammer to smash their undead bones. They are too stupid to dodge anything, but can be dangerous when they go into a frenzy. Why is there a naked girl in the forest? You tell me, and feel free to send her over to my house any time. What do you think of the graveyard? Well, it is where we all end up eventually, so we may as well keep it in good order. Although the warriors among us will get taken to Valhalla, of course. We keep the graves a fair bit away from the city gate because of superstition and because of the occasional undead. My guess is that there are more of those because we are too close to Ragnarok. I have been to the Grand Lake. Good for you. And I'm sure you've seen the Jarl's fancy flying ship. We use it for raids sometimes, at least when it is less frozen into the ice. We usually have to take Orvindel along to control it. I think he keeps some kind of wind magic embedded in the ship's hull. Do you practice at the archery target? Indeed I do. You can usually find me there around noon, in case you want to be soundly defeated. I want you to release Kraka from jail. Of whom do you speak? Ah, yes, the little wretch from Lunavigir. Perhaps we should discuss this in the guard room. I would like to try my hand at archery. My bow is old. I have practiced with Agilas, brother to Voland, and the best archer in these lands. Would you like to test? Well, lady, it goes to show that you cannot be good at...
So, have you thought of a decent story to tell me? I cannot think of a good story. Then we be finished talking for now. Impressive, but you ought to hang it in the guild house, not go around and show it to people.
food off away from me. I am a warrior in service of Yal Ilfing. Well met, traveler, and I am grateful for thy assistance. Please tell me about yourself. Thou hast found a sole Valkyrie to walk the grounds of Midgard. Brynhild is my name, daughter of Bootli. Why are you bound here? Tis the will of Odin the Blind. I was cast out from Asgard for taking a mortal lover, and restrained within the flames till they part at his touch. I am forbidden to speak of this any further. What does a Valkyrie do? We are the Chosen of Odin, God of Victory. We fly over the battlefields of Midgard looking for noble warriors. Any that bravely fall in battle are worthy to be taken to the halls of Asgard to join the Anheriar. This is the sole means for mortals to avoid the gloomy halls of Niflheim after their death. Should the Aesir ride for war, the Einherjar shall be their elite troops. The prophecy states that they will ride out against the Frost Giants when Ragnarok comes. What can you tell me of the forest? I have spent enough time in Yarnpadir to be familiar with its denizens. What wouldst thou know? What do you think of the graveyard? I know not of graveyards. It is from battlefields that I find the spirits of the worthy dead. Why is there a sword in the tree? Indeed, I have heard of this blade, crafted by a cunning mortal. It has the power to burst into flame. It shall remain stuck in its tree until a worthy soul can draw it out. Only a mighty and honorable warrior would be able to wield the sword Balmung. Do you know Ratatosk the Squirrel? The Doom Squirrel is an ages-old creature that seeks to decay the Nine Worlds by gnawing on Yggdrasil, the ancient tree. It is a testament to his effectiveness that the world is still standing, despite his best efforts to spread nasty talk among all of us. Have you fought any trolls? Trolls dwell all across the Nine Worlds, being fierce warriors for those who can compel them into servitude. In battle, their wounds close quickly, making them twice as durable as an ordinary opponent. One may parry their normal attacks, but not their most powerful strikes. What do you know about Jotun? The Jotun, or Frost Giants, are the traditional enemies of the Aesir. They are prophesied to rule the world in eternal ice after Ragnarok. Aside from their powerful weapons, they possess the magic of frost, using it to heal themselves, imbue their blade, and freeze their enemies. Their tough armor is best pierced by the point of a well-honed sword. In its fury, a Jotun can strike thy head off with an unstoppable attack. Thy only hope is to duck underneath it. How would you defeat a Muspel? The Muspel are a powerful ally to the Frost Giants. Led by Surtur the Ashen, they seek to burn all of Midgard, leaving naught but ashes covering the ice. Thou must pay attention whether it attacks to thy left or thy right. However, it may cast a wide blast of flames that cannot be dodged. It may seek to blind thee with its flames, unless thou hast a shield with which to protect thy eyes. I would like to learn about Svartalfheim. Having traveled to Svartalfheim in the past, I may be able to advise you about it. I am most impressed by Nidavellir. Aye, amidst the depths of Svartalfheim lies the fabled Nidavellir, city of the Svartalfar. There is not else I can tell thee of this city, save to beware of Svartalf's trickery. Do you know any Svartalfar? It is humans I seek to bring worthy individuals to Valhalla among the Einherjar. With the Svartalfar, Odin the Raven God has no such path, so I do not know them well. What are Dwargar like? It is said they are cunning warriors and fierce protectors of Svartalfheim. Their stamina is legendary and they work well in teams. It is best to use mighty attacks, not swift ones against them. Should they take their form of stone, stay thy blade until they revert to flesh. 
What is the Eye of Thiassi? Thy reputation precedes thee. The Norns have sent me a vision of thy rescue of the human child from the depths of Swartalheim. Mayhap thou art truly a hero. I shall reveal to thee the lore of Thiassi's eyes, hoping that thou findst this useful on thy quest. Thank you. I am listening. After the great war that Odin the Hellblinder and the Aesir fought against the Jotun, certain of the Frost Giants were allowed to remain in Midgard. One of them, Egther, proved to be treacherous and used Midgard as a staging ground to launch an attack on Bifrost, the rainbow bridge to Asgard. A band of humans led by Ilfing I fought against him, and with the mighty blade Tyrfing, the human Jarl did strike down the dastardly Jotun. But Egther's sorcery hath made it impossible to kill the giant. So instead, Ilfing asked the Swartalfar to magically lock him in his castle, Gastropnir. The eyes of Theassi were used to seal the entrance to Gastropnir Keep. Without the eyes, no human can enter it, and the Jotun cannot leave. So this is why Egther needs the eyes. Indeed. It doth appear that Egther's lackeys, being neither human nor Jotun, are free to enter and leave the keep. These seek out the eyes for him. Ilfing I lies long dead, and his grandchild now rules von Sigtuna. I believe that one of the eyes is held by his mightiest warrior, Voland the Smith. The second of the eyes was taken to Munarvagir decades ago, and doth lie with its ruler, Sigurd, son of Sigmund. And thee would prove thyself a hero, seek out both eyes, and enter Gastropnir Keep to strike down Egther ere he doth find a way to free himself. I understand. Voland holds one of the eyes, Sigurd the other. I will seek out both of them. Speak to me about honor. Tis honorable to help those in need, for their sake and not thine, and not for their gold. Thou shouldst never threaten or mock those in need, but fight valorously for them on the field of battle. For a Viking, tis fine to boast about it later. Valhalla enjoys a teller of tall tales. Let us speak later. Fare thee well. We meet in honor. What wouldst thou? Let it fare thee.